hey guys and welcome back to my channel today i am going to go through a flip through of november and how i'm setting up my december bullet journal now so far i still haven't gone in and filled out my key or my index but that is okay i set up my future log and i realized that i needed to leave more space for the calendar even though there's only two left I wrote out the end of year goals and I've been recording my social media growth. I have the list of books that I'm working on finishing before the end of the year, any video ideas that come up until the end of the year, brain dump of ideas that come through my mind. Here is a list of investments that I'd like to make within the next year. And here we start my weekly slash daily spread i worked on some sketching which some, that's something that i've just been wanting to include these are instagram followers i made a little booklet um, over the holiday for thanksgiving i have a reflection a weekly reflection then i went ahead and did a different weekly layout and I haven't filled in my monthly reflection. And here I was working on how I'd like my website to be laid out, the changes that are coming. So for December, I made a much larger monthly spread and I have some flowers. And then I realized, wait, I should be doing snowflakes. So I went ahead and did that. And December is a little weird this year where we only have one day for the first week and then a full week afterwards. That's fine. And then rather than doing a weekly spread with just one day, I went ahead and added the first here. And so the first week has eight days and then my growth tracker on the left, the days of the month. So I don't have to flip back and forth. I left a blank page for the weekly sketch and then the following week the weekly spread is set up a little bit differently so it's going to repeat with a weekly spread some space for sketching weekly spread space for sketching i didn't set up any more of the weekly spreads just in case i end up not using it especially with the holidays coming up so if i don't use it for the weekly spread i'll be using it for sketching and drawing and then i have a page for brain dump and then i have a full page spread for the monthly reflection the goal is to finish this sketchbook with sketches complete sketches i'm hoping to finish this sketchbook off with full sketches at the end of the month i will show you what it looks like. We're gonna go ahead and paint in the few ornaments, outline the calendar, and so this starts our speed painting portion. Also wanted to talk about the little glass jar that I ha have here. This was from a candle. I went ahead and sit this in a boiling pot of water so that the bottom of the candle would get hot and I just cleaned out the wax and everything. So now I have a glass jar that I'll be using for my water. I wish this didn't really have too much in it, but it was vanilla bean. I love vanilla bean candle smells. Right now I have another candle from Glade. None of that is sponsored. I did pay for this with my own money. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my gouache. Paint. These colors are from the last time I was painting, which is that Thanksgiving spread. I don't always clean off my my palette. So these colors are from this, or these colors are from this paint setup. Let me know if you'd be interested in me turning these into stickers, and I'll link in the description box where you can purchase the ebook that I put together over the holiday break. I'm gonna go ahead and outline my calendar and let's enjoy. Mm -hmm. 